Hello YouTube, it's Jim Chapman on American Air Gun Hunter. This week, something a little bit different. I think most of us that started out with air guns many, many years ago started with either a, um, a lever action daisy or we had a multi-pump gun, if we were lucky, like a Benjamin uh, or a Sheridan back in the day. Well, this is still a lot of fun to use these kind of guns and there's still some compelling arguments why they make sense even with all of the modern guns that we have today. And uh, the gun I'm gonna take out is a, um, uh, a multi-pump that I've had a lot of fun with over the last uh, last several months and uh, it's the Seneca Dragonfly and uh, this gun is based on a, this is the Mark II that I'm shooting now it's based on an earlier gun um, out of uh, out of uh, Seneca Air Venturi Seneca uh, and um, what's different about it is that it has a new uh, pumping system that gives you a much more um, even and lightweight cocking action to the gun. The Seneca Dragonfly Mark II multi-pump air rifle is 40 inches length overall with about a 22.75 inch barrel weighing in at 6.5 pounds, so it's quite lightweight. It's a multi-pump power plant in both 177 and 22. Uh, this is a fully self-contained gun. All you need is a pocket full of pellets and you're good to go out for a day of shooting or a weekend of shooting or a week of shooting. Uh, the gun is a streamlined sporter stock. It has a long cocking arm with a, uh, a long sweep, which makes the uh, cocking action quite lightweight uh, and, and comfortable. Um, there's a, a very adjustable power output with this that's predicated on the number of pumps, and uh, the gun will, will take from 3 to 15 pumps. So you can go really low for shooting in your basement, then take it out for small game. Perfect. Um, the gun will do up to 850 feet per second in 177 and up to 730 feet per second in 22 using lead pellets that would go higher with alloys, but all I really care about is lead um, in my hunting guns. And uh, the, uh, the 22 is getting close to 17 foot uh, pound of energy in, uh, in, with 15 pumps. So that's, that's pretty good hunting power for small game. Well, out for a morning hunt for cottontail. I'm using the uh, Dragonfly. This gun was a blast. Multi-pump gun. Took me back to my days when I first started out in serious air with my Benjamin pump. I, I don't even think they're making that uh, gun anymore. I heard that they were discontinuing it. But this Dragonfly MK2 is a, a blast. Uh, pumps up uh, easy, uh, fast. I, um, I got a couple rabbits this morning. Saw a few more. Um, to be honest with you, I don't like the scope I had on here. I'm going to go take this off and put a, a better scope on. Uh, this gun deserves it. Uh, it's accurate. Um, it, uh, it was just a lot of fun to shoot. Um, the one I'm using right now is a 22 uh, bolt action. Uh, I'm having a blast. I uh, got a couple of cottontail for the uh, for the I'm table. I'm going to go and get these dressed out and, uh, and uh, freeze them up. I'm going to take them back home with me. Anyway, it was, a, it was a good hunt. I'm going to go out again this afternoon with this with a, another scope and a better camera mount because uh, I don't think some of the footage was all that great in the first hunt. And uh, we'll see what we can get. So uh, stick with me. Come on out. It's going to be a blast.
Yeah, so after having uh, hunting uh, in the field, what do I think? Well, it's really easy to carry. It's, it's lightweight, streamlined, uh, easy to carry. It's easy to shoot, mounts well. Uh, it's got a comfortable grip. The uh, cocking arm, um, I actually uh, am going to take a little sandpaper to round off the edge a little bit um, on the uh, on the, the arm. But that's an that's an easy correction. That is just my preference. You might not want to do that. Um, the gun gives solid performance for small game. Uh, both the accuracy and the power are great for you know 35, 40 yard um, hunting applications. And uh, I had some problems at first with the scope that I received with it. Um, it just, the glass quality wasn't very good. It was a low-end scope. But I swapped it out for a, uh, a Leaper's Bug Buster, which is another low-cost scope, but really quite good quality. Uh, and um, I, I really enjoyed shooting with it uh, after I, I made that uh, swap. So, uh, you know, while I was out on this trip, I limited out on cottontails a couple times using this gun and did everything I could have asked for it. So, you know... Not everybody wants to pump the gun after after every shot when they're hunting, but um, if you have a situation where you want a, a self-contained gun, like you're going on a long backpacking trip, not to have to mess with air, and, like you would with the PCP, and and not have the the weight and the size that you have with, with most Springers, uh, it's attractive to to have this multi-pump. Uh, also, for somebody who wants more of the uh, the um, survivalist slash prepper. Uh, you want something that can go out and harvest small game that's quiet, that's not relying on other equipment. Um, this this could be the ticket. So for, I think for any shooters that want a self-contained uh, uh, platform, this is one that uh, they could, should consider. So as always, I'd like to uh, thank you for coming by uh, and, uh, and viewing the video and uh, leaving your comments is appreciated. A thumbs up even more appreciated. And, uh, and keep on coming. I'll have a lot more videos coming soon.